Hello everyone. We will continue the topic adopts Adobe Forms or PDF Forms. In the previous video, we covered the introduction of Adobe Forms or PDF Forms. We learned the basic differences between the Smart Forms and Adobe Forms. Now we will take an example and we will develop that Adobe form or PDF form. So I'll just show the layout which we will develop. We'll go for title sales order details. We will go for sales order number, value of sales order number. We'll go for label header details. We will display the header details, creation date, username, time, document category will go for label item details and we will display the item details means item number amount and currency if we see this layout we have two major tables vbak and vbap means we will develop this layout using sales order header table means vbak and sales order item table VPAP. Now, in the previous video, we discussed the layout designing is a separate thing. In case of PDF forms or Adobe forms, firstly, we need to create the interface. In that interface, what we will do, we will declare all the internal table, work areas, variables, all logic part we will write in that interface. And then we will use that interface while designing the layout because layout designing is separate. So firstly, we'll start with creation of the interface. I will go to transaction code SFP. We all know transact SFP is the transaction code to create PDF forms or Adobe forms. Now, we will not start with the creation of the form directly. Firstly, we need to create interface. Suppose, example, suppose if I will start design creating a uh, I will start creating the form directly. Suppose I will give some name to the form. Suppose I am saying ZPDF underscore some serial number. If I will click on to create button, you can see it is asking for the name of the interface. It means you have to create an interface first if you want to create a PDF form or Adobe form. So firstly, we will create an interface. So I will choose the radio button interface. I will give some name to the interface. Suppose I'm saying ZINT underscore sales. And I will use some serial number. I'll click on to create button. Now, now the first important understanding will start. Whenever you are creating a interface, it's in, in, we have three types of interfaces, a BAP dictionary based interface, XML schema based interface and smart forms compatible interface. We'll go into that, that, what is the meaning of these three types of interfaces? Firstly, I will go for a BAP dictionary based interface. So if you have a, a BAP dictionary based interface, whenever you will create a, a BAP dictionary based interface, so we have different parameters in the form interface. We will get different parameters in the form interface. Suppose if you are going for XML schema based interface, this type of interface you should use only whenever you are creating the forms through form builder of Web10 Pro app. 
if you are creating the forms in the form builder of webdyne pro for abap in that case you have to use second type of interface that is xml schema based interface if you are going for third type of interface smart forms compatible interface so if you will use this kind of interface we will also get different parameters in the form interface i'll show you the meaning of each and every type of interface so firstly we we'll see how the abap dictionary based interface will be if i'm going for abap dictionary based interface the standard few standard parameters automatically appear in the form interface suppose if i will go for abap dictionary based interface i will give some description suppose i am saying sales order details interface whenever i will go for save suppose i will save this as a local object you can see in the form interface automatically we are getting one input parameter automatically we are getting one output parameter and automatically we are getting the exceptions so if you are going for a bab dictionary based interface few standard parameters automatically appear in the form interface suppose if i will show you import if i will double click so these many input parameters automatically available in the form interface if i will go for export these many output parameters automatically available now suppose i will go for second type of interface what is second type of interface xml schema based interface you should use this interface whenever you are going for form designing through form builder of webden pro apa in that case you have to choose second type of interface suppose if i will choose second type of interface you can see at that point of time we will get different input and output parameters in the form interface you can see previously we have only one input parameter now we have two input parameters so whenever you are going for different kind of interfaces the parameters change depends upon that suppose if i will go for third type of interface that is your smart form compatible interface word itself is same it's a smart form compatible interface so whatever the parameters you are getting in the smart form while creating same to same will be available here also suppose if i'll go for smart forms compatible interface if i will show you you can see we have so many input parameters we have output parameters we have tables we have exception suppose if i will go to smart forms transaction code and you will say yes we have same to same thing available if i will show you any of the smart form you can see in the form interface we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 parameters so if you are going for smart form compatible interface same to same nine parameters are available here if i will go for output we have three output parameters you can see we have same to same three output parameters so if you are going for smart forms compatible interface so whatever the parameters are there while creating a smart form same thing is available here also so what i will do for i'll start with i will create a i, I will go for a bab dictionary based interface and we will proceed further so i'll go for a bab dictionary based interface yes i'll go to interface 
and generally the most preferable type of interface is a BAP dictionary based interface. Maximum time in the projects, we will always, always create a, a BAP dictionary based interface. Now, I will go to input. I'll go to import. Now, if you see this layout, if you see this layout, the input of this layout is sales order number. We all know very well, whenever you want to give a input, in the smart form also, whenever you want to give a input, you gave the input in the form interface import. You are giving the input through form interface face because we all know form interface. The purpose of form interface is to give input and to take output. Same way, if I want to give input, so I will go to form interface import. I will click on to create button, append row. I will take some input. Suppose I am saying P underscore V B E L N type. I will provide the data element of sales document number. I'll check in the table. What is the data element for sales document number? I will display. This is the data element. So our input is ready. Now what we will do, we will drive, we will declare internal table and work areas of VBA and VBAP. If you see this layout, we have five columns from VBA. We have three columns from VBA. So we will declare internal table and work areas of VBAK and VBAP. So what I will do, firstly, I will create a structure of VBAK of these five columns. Then I will create a table type of those table type using those five columns. Then I will go for VBAP. I'll create a structure of VBAP and I will go for table type of VBAP. We will go for internal table and work areas of VBAK and VBAP. So I'll go to firstly SC11 transaction code. Firstly, I will create a structure of five columns. So I'll choose the third radio button, data type. I will give some name to the structure. Suppose I'm saying said str vbak underscore serial number. I'll click on to create button structure. I will write vbak structure. From vbak, I require five columns, so it is very easy. We'll just go for copy paste. First column, VBELN. Data element of VBELN. Then we have ER dat ER num. ER dat. Data element is ER dat. Then I will go for ERZET, ERZET. Then I will go for ERNUM, ERNUM. And our fifth column is VB type. I'll pass the data element of VB type. I'll save this structure. I'll check the syntax and activate this structure. Now I will create a table type in which I will use this structure. I'll create a table type VBAK table type 
and I will pass the name of the structure which we create. I'll just save this as a local object. So my VBAK table type is ready. Now I will declare internal table and work areas in my interface of the Adobe form. So I'll go to global data. You all know here we can declare internal table and work areas. I'll click on to create. Suppose my name of the internal table is LT underscore VBAK internal table type table type. I will give the name of the table type which I created. You all know how to declare internal table, internal table type, table type. Now I will declare work area LWA underscore VBAK type work area type structure and what is the name of the structure this is the name of the structure i'll check the syntax and activate so what is the summary of this video in this video we started with the creation of the interface we started we have three types of interfaces a BAP dictionary based interface, XML schema based interface, smart forms compatible interface. Whenever you are using any type of interface, it will give you different importing and exporting parameters. Generally, XML schema based interface we are using whenever you want to go for the creation of the form through WebDen Pro for a BAP. Whenever you are going for a BAP dictionary based interface, we got different input and output parameters in the form interface. If you are going for smart forms compatible interface, it will give you same to same parameters which you are getting while creating a layout through smart form. Then after that, what we did, we took one input parameter in the form interface and we declare one internal table and work area of VBAK in the global data. Rest part will continue in the next video. Thank you.